Today, we're going to talk about work interactions. Okay, we're ready to ask now how do a system, and we'll go back to the pot and its surroundings, interact? What can we observe? What can we see? What can we feel between this system and the surroundings? Now, this system, the way we're talking about today, is a closed system. So we're going to imagine that there's water inside here that we're, that, that's, that's close to boiling uh, and that um, uh, none of that water can get out of the pot. So closed system, no mass, no water can exchange with the surroundings, but uh, energy joules can exchange. Okay, so now how can those joules exchange? Um, it turns out in thermodynamics, there are only two ways, either a work interaction between the system and the surroundings or a heat interaction between the systems and the surroundings. So we need to focus on what we mean by work and what we mean by heat, those types of interactions. So now a heat interaction, that's based on uh, the temperature difference between the system and the surroundings, a heat transfer. Uh, a work interaction, um, those can be of a variety of forms. Um, it's often said if you can say, if you know it's not a heat interaction, then it must be a work interaction. Conversely, if you know it's not a work interaction, then it must be a heat interaction because all of the interactions between system and surroundings are in one of those two categories. Uh, when those joules get into the system, we can think of them partitioning in many ways like uh, kinetic energy or uh, a change in gravitational potential energy or a change in uh, electric potential energy. But the actual movement of the joules between the system and the surroundings is either a work or a heat interaction. So the heat interaction is the temperature difference. The work interaction is what's classically called force acting through a distance. A very common one is uh, a pressure that leads to a volume expansion. So for example, if the pressure got inside large enough to push back the atmosphere and the lid came up, uh, neglecting that any water could come out, so we keep it a closed system. So think of this more like a piston than a pot at this point. But pushing against the atmosphere, um, pressure, volume, work, that would be force acting through a distance. And there are many types of work interactions um, that, can, uh, that can take place and be uh, identified. Now, a very important equation uh, representing the coupling between how we think about the energy of the system, um, which as we know is a theoretical uh, uh, a concept. It's made up of the uh, components that we think about, like the uh, kinetic energy or the gravitational potential energy or the uh, electric potential energy um, or magnetic or any types of energies we want to think about. Well, any change in that energy, any change represented by the symbol delta here, uh, any change in that energy, well, we see that in the physical world as uh, a heat interaction between the system and surroundings and a work interaction between the system and the surroundings. Um, and this is quite important because these are things that we can observe. They're the interactions between system and surroundings. Um, and then these are the things we think about as we want to partition the heat interaction or the work interaction into com energy components of the system, the kinetic energy of the system or the gravitational potential energy of the system, electrical. This list that we have here can go on, magnetic, any type of uh, 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 way that we can think about storing uh, elastic, any type of way that we can think about storing the energy. In a given problem of thermodynamic interest, maybe we only have one of these. Maybe we don't have gravitational, we don't have electric, and we don't have others. Maybe in a given problem that we're approaching, maybe we only have kinetic energy. But although this list uh, can be quite long um, and includes everything that we can think about, we actually only have two terms a heat interaction and a work interaction that describes how that energy of the system will uh, 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 partition in terms of its um, uh, system surroundings interactions. So again, just in review, these are the concepts that we think about. But we can't quite touch. We can't quite touch kinetic energy. We can't 
quite touch gravitational potential energy, um, but we think about changes of those energies. Um, and these are what we can actually observe, a work interaction like a pressure volume movement or heat interaction like the system and the surroundings at different temperatures. And so these are the things that we observe and they lead to a change in the energy of the system and that change in the energy of the system, we intellectually partition across things that we like to think about that are appropriate to the problem. Well, that's kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, electric potential energy, and so on. Okay, as an example of W, or work interaction between system and surroundings, let's consider the lifting of a, of a, of a, of a heavy block uh, on a pulley uh, connected uh, by uh, uh, a rope. All right, so if we're going to do system and surroundings, first thing we need to do is identify what we want our system to be compared to our surroundings. So our focus here is on the block. So we'll call that our system. And then the surroundings in this case, well, we don't need to know too much about it. It's everything around it that happens to be uh, through, this blue, uh, through this blue rope. Now, how are we going to do uh, the lifting? Well, we'll have a person down here. And this person will just be pulling on the rope and pulling on the rope. So as the person uh, pulls on the rope, the uh, block, uh, the block goes up, the system goes uh, up and we get to a new height for the, uh, we get to a new height for the block. Now, how much did it go up? Well, we'll take our reference height here at zero uh, uh, meters and then it went up a certain amount. Um, uh, let's call it just uh, uh, one meter at the moment. So we've lifted this block by uh, one meter. Um, and then we can ask, what kind of energy did we have now? Well, we've got gravitational potential uh, energy. Energy is the uh, uh, gravitational potential energy. And that's how much work we had to do because we have the change in energy of the system. Well, that's how far we lifted it relative to our reference point, and that should be Q plus W. And in this particular case, there is no heat interaction. So all of the uh, change in the energy of the system, the mg delta H, the way we think about it intellectually, well, that is fully W or work. So the uh, 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 person is doing that much work in order to lift the block to that one meter height. Okay, uh, another way we could lift this block, instead of putting a person there, um, we could lift that block by putting an electric motor here, an electric driver that went around and rotates the pulley. In that case, we're applying uh, an electrical component to make the, to make the uh, shaft go round and round. But again, we lift the object up by one meter. And for our analysis here, because whether it was the person or the electric motor, both of those in the surroundings, which we don't care too much about, um, we're always focused on the system. If we cared about the surroundings, then they'd no longer be the surroundings. They'd either be a second system, system one, system two, or they would be um, uh, in our other system, but we would formulate it some way, because by definition, anything that is of interest to us has a system label on it. So the energy of the system, again, and we'll often just leave off that uh, SIS uh, label uh, henceforth, and we'll just call it the change in energy. Well, we understand now that we're always interested in the system. Well, that's going to be, again, uh, the mass of that block and its height, and it's Q plus W. And again, there's no heat interaction with the surroundings, so that's all going to be W again. And so whether we lift it by having a person pull on it or we lift it by having an electric motor, all that's happening in the surroundings, we don't care about that as a system. All we know as a system is we went up one meter in the gravitational potential energy and that that was work. Work interactions are the dynamics of thermodynamics. Now, pressures and forces are often put to very useful purposes. Um, we can use the pressure from a strong boat to break uh, ice, that's useful. We can use motion of a conductive wire like copper in a magnetic field, motion, uh, to get a generator, to get electricity. Motion, force are things that we often want for useful economic activities. For example, that electricity ends up charging up the computer battery or the phone battery.
acabou.